Chapter 10 of Our Little Spanish Cousin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Tech Savvy. Our Little Spanish Cousin by Mary F. Nixon Roulette. Chapter 10 Games and Sports. The hacienda was more beautiful than it had been in the fall, and Fernando was soon busy as a bee. He had, of course, to attend school, but it was a country school, not so strict nor so large as the city one, and he enjoyed showing off his superior accomplishments to the other boys. This the others did not relish, and there was a grand fight to see which was the strongest. And when Fernando had whipped all the boys of his own size, he was happy and felt that he had not disgraced the name of Guzman. Manuel did not attend him in the country, and Fernando much enjoyed doing as he liked, roaming about, mm -hmm. taking his own time to come home, tramping about the orange groves or sailing boats in the brook. When school was over and Antonio came for the promised visit, what merry times there were! The boys went swimming at all hours. They ran bareheaded all over the place. Mezzo after them, their constant companion. Fernando had a few lessons to do each morning, a master to teach him his French, music, and drawing. For boys of his class in Spain are accomplished as well as educated. But these were soon over, and then, stung by the bees, burnt by the sun, wet by the rain, eating green oranges, doing in fact what American boys or boys all over the world will do if let alone. This was the way in which the two Spanish boys spent their vacation. Juanita, meantime, was having a very happy time. She, too, had a few lessons, and her ayah was giving place to governess, but she was still too young to learn much, and the beautiful out-of-doors was a great lesson book to her. Riding Vibica, tagging after the boys. Suntan and rosy, she grew strong and hardy, and she never so happy as when allowed to go with her brother and Antonio. Generally, they took very good care of her, and her mother felt that she was safe with the two boys. Fernando teased her a good deal, but Antonio was of a calmer mood, and was always her gentle knight. All manner of games were played by these happy children who, with their little neighbors of the nearest hacienda, made a merry group. They were simple-hearted little folk, and the boys had not reached the state described in the old Spanish rhyme of the boys of Madrid. They should be romping with us, for they are only children yet, but they will not play at anything except a cigarette. No place will cheer the prado in future times, for then the little boys of seven will all be married men. Fernando and even the graver Antonio entered into all the childish sports with the rest, and an especial favorite was a play very much like our London Bridge is Falling Down, called the Gate of Alcala. Two children are chosen to head the lines and called Rose and Pink. They form an arch with their arms held up and their fingers locked, and under this the other children pass headed by the mother. They sing gaily a little dialogue. Rose and Pink To the wiper of love that hides in the flowers, the only way lies here. Mother Then there I pass and leave behind one little daughter dear. Rose and Pink Shall the first one or the last one be captive of our chain? Mother. Oh, the first one runs so lightly, the last one shall remain. Chorus. Pass on, oh ho, pass on, Ali, by the gate of Alcala. The last child with sequels of delight is caught in the falling arms and chooses whether she shall follow rose o pink taking her place behind one of her choice when all have been chosen there is a grand tug of war the merry party singing meantime rose and pink 
Let the young mind make its choice, as young minds chance to think. Now is Rose your leader, or go you with the pink. Let the young mind make its choice, by laws the young heart knows. Now is pink your leader, or go you with the rose. Chorus Pass on, oh ho, pass on, aha, by the gates of Alcala. The boys enjoyed playing soldier, and would whittle toy swords out of the sticks, and form in line, marching and singing. The Catalans are coming, marching two by two. All who hear their drumming, tiptoe for a view. Ay, ay, tiptoe for a view. Red and yellow banners, pennies very few. Ay, ay, pennies very few. Red and yellow banners, the moon comes out to see. If moons had better manners, she'd take me on her knee. Ay, ay, she'd take me on her knee. She peeps through purple shutters. Would I were tall as she? I, I, would I were tall as she? Soldiers need not learn letters, nor any schooly thing, but unless they mind their betters, in golden chains they swing. I, I, in golden chains they'll swing, or sit in silver fetters. Presents from the king. I, I, presents from the king. The prettiest of all the games is that of the little white pigeons, which all Andalusian children love to play. The little companions form in two rows, and, facing each other, dance forward and slip beneath the unpraised arms of the opposite side. Thus they pass under the silver ox to Sevilla and Granada. Little white pigeons are dreaming of Seville, sun in the palm trees, rose and reveal. Lift up the arches, gold as the weather, little white pigeons come flying together. Little white pigeons dream of Granada, glistening snows on Sierra Nevada. Lift up the arches, silver as fountains, little white pigeons fly to the mountains. Our little Spanish cousins play nearly all the same games that American children play. Only the blind man's buff is called blind hen, and pussy wants a corner is called cottage to rent, and played with the rhyme. Cottage to rent, try the other side. You see this one is occupied. Their game of tag is called moon and the morning stars, and is played by the child being chosen as the moon and forced to keep within the shadow. The rest of the children, being morning stars, are safe only where it is light. If the moon can catch a star in the shadow, the star must become a moon, and as the stars scamper in and out of the shadow, all sing. O oh, the moon and morning stars, moon and morning stars, who dares to tread, O oh, within the shadow? Hide and seek, the children played, and four feet and all manner of other games, and as the sun nearly always shines in Andalusia, the summer was one long merry round out of door fun. End of chapter 10. Recording by Tech Savvy, www.techsavvy.wordpress.com.